So once you realise that that goal is achievable and you kind of see your future and where it kind of wants to go, what did you do then to progress so well and so quickly? Because I feel that when you were picked up, it just, everything spiralled so quickly and it was just kind of like, here's Neve, and then like, whoa, here's Neve, like, she's gone, she's, she's spread her wings. So what did you do during that time to just kind of prepare yourself and, and get yourself up there? I don't know if I did really prepare. I think it, like you said, I think it happened quite quickly that um, first couple of months of going to camps, I was at ACE camp because I was actually at ACE camp when I got picked up. So I think the, I had a lot of anxiety around that time. I think that was a time when anxiety definitely picked up for me because I didn't know what was happening. Um, I literally would show up to the open of an envelope. <laughs> and so I think always showing up kind of put my mind at ease then. I got to know the people I was with, the people, you know, like Sir Simon Fisher, he became a big help to me with going through everything. And I still struggle to kind of realise how I got to where I am at this moment because I do remember starting it and being like this is just going to be a hobby it's going to be something that's going to get me doing more getting me active it's something I think about <laughs> regularly even when I'm, I'm on my way to a camp or I'm at a camp I'm still like how did I get here <laughs> there's still a lot of times when I'm like I'm so out of my depth I don't know what I'm doing why I'm here but it's that remembering that people believe in me and I have to be there for teammates and I kind of have to prepare myself for it in the end otherwise it's a lot of people that have kind of let down in the end so it's kind of like that that I kind of had to roll with it even though I'm amongst it all my head is completely blown no idea what's going on where I have to be what I have to be doing but it's that that I'm kind of just going with it and being blown away as it happens and just kind of staying to my roots and staying where I know that I'm kind of safe in the end. From my perspective it's kind of like that line between a hobby and being committed and I found that watching you you were very you went from that kind of hobby to being very committed turning up every week you did extra training sessions in the week you were getting help from other players you were getting help from other teammates you were like asking Anna for extra coaching and I guess it's that difference between I'm turning up to train to I need everything to help me to be the best that I am and and that's what I saw in you I saw that you you just turned up and you really put your head in the game put your head in training and you did what it took to get where you are now yeah I think that whole I knew that I had to do more to be um what people kind of expected me to become or, or expected me to be so I kind of you know and it wasn't even the whole I had to get myself physically there it was the whole mentally as well you know go do an extra training with Anna going there during the week and it was kind of show anything anyone offered me any training I'd be there I had to get myself kind of mentally prepared for having to be there and having to show up places and having to train a lot harder because I, I knew even doing the extra training trying to get into GB it would be a whole lot more and so I think if I, I thought if I could get myself prepared at that stage then it wouldn't be as much of a jump trying to go up into the next stage so it's just kind of that was the whole like it's it's like I said, the whole process of just going with it and 
just being ready when when I'm ready you know like I spent a lot of time with Anna discuss, discussing anxiety around situations and speaking to a lot of people about anxiety around situations it was kind of a I was showing up to everything but um it was a it was hard to show up to everything because I was I wanted it I wanted to get you know I still do I'm not I'm not at the level I want to be at um and it's still it's still one of those rolling with it trying to get myself prepared at the current level so then I can be fully prepared and kind of in a way start over that whole prepare process in the next level and um, I think because I knew I I knew when I started Phoenix to then after watching Robin and have all the other women play I knew that I had to do a whole lot more to get out there and to get noticed because I knew I had speed but that was the only thing I had so I knew that I had to match everything up and at least get some skill in other places to be able to go on and get recognised in a way. We got to the point at Phoenix where sadly, as a development club, we got you to the point, the, the first point we could get you to, we developed you and then you kind of flew away and flew the nest and you left us um, to go to that higher your higher division to another club what was that like changing clubs finding a new family and then being in a higher division that must have just been another whole step up and another whole step to get your head around so tell us about that it was kind of it was very daunting to be honest the whole because I like I said Phoenix was my safety blanket it always had been you could go with me to a women's league or a juniors at that point and I'd be a completely different person to how you would see me at Phoenix and so it was it was hard but I knew it was something I had to do in the end because I was at that point I was in GB juniors I just got in and I knew that I couldn't I had to go up in order to up my game I, I knew that at that point junior juniors I was I had a chance of going away to competitions with them so I knew I had to kind of get myself in the position where I could play against players that could somewhat match up to what I what I would be facing um because I knew that I'd become very safe at Phoenix that was my safe ground and I knew that yeah you know, I, I knew I could go back there anytime and train with everyone's kind of calm everything down in my head and um, and so I think jumping up because I was I was at the time I'm pretty pretty sure when I went to Mavs I was already playing Div 1 Angels and um, even that I was kind of using that as a way to prepare myself I was like I'm already in Div 1 Angels I can I can do Div 1 Mavs um, and then I went over and the first game I was like no I can't do it I can't do it <laughs> it was scary and um a lot more aggressive and kind of I had to I had to prove myself a lot more I felt there and that was a big wake-up call <laughs> from the the safety net of Phoenix I think that you know I'm not always the fastest and can't always be the fastest so I'm gonna have to up my game and I think that was a big I think at that point that was the perfect point to make that step up because being just brought into the GB juniors I kind of hadn't realized the the full um the full thing of who I'm gonna play against the the level I have to be playing at um it was a scary time because I was going into a place where there was people like Finn. He was very aware of his abilities and what he could do. And I played with all the Mavericks before. So I, w I didn't feel uncomfortable going there because I knew them. And that goes back to the whole 
anxiety anxiety and confidence is that I knew the people there so I was very comfortable going it was just being comfortable in my own play that I had to find a way to be and there was definitely times after games where I was like I don't think I'm cut out for like if I, I can't do this I'm not going to be able to do GB I'm not going to be able to do Paralympics I can't um so it was kind of it was a big struggle at the beginning and then as I kind of started going and felt myself progressing I kind of felt myself and felt more in myself more confident um it was that thing and I think it was that that balance I was going with Mavs and playing with Angel so it was kind of that that balance of aggressiveness <laughs> there's a lot of aggressive in you go into Angels and to be fair say Mavs is going into Div 1 Mavs is aggressive women's league is probably much more <laughs> aggressive than than standard league and I think it's um it showed me definitely that I had to open my eyes and stop being so naive to the game. <laughs>